Good evening everybody, welcome to It's Just an Average Sim Racer time again and we are here at Silverstone in the BMW 12.0 Championship on iRacing um, did this race last season, it was quite a fruitful for myself um, I hope it's going to be the same again on this new time model Just practice, I just joined in too The uh, race will get, session will get in the way in the next minute or so um, let's just get some practicing just to see how we go. It doesn't feel that bad actually, it feels better than actually we did last season on the older time model. I'm here. So, I can get on the limit a bit quicker. That's what we did beforehand. So, hopefully, it'll be a quite fruitful race for me. Get this session starting up. off hit the old escape button and uh, we'll see how we go and race time so hopefully everything is good in the world of everyone um, wherever everyone is obviously it's uh, an interesting time out there in the UK at the moment oh, it's just not working Um, yeah, interesting times out there in the UK. So let's shout about the sim racing world um, for everyone who streams sims races everywhere. Because I think this is where um, majority of entertainment is going to come from, as proved by Orlando and Jimmy Broadbent at the weekend of the FIA uh, Virtual Grand Prix that they ran on Sunday night. So obviously a non-lockdown Silverstone in, <laughs> in the virtual world in the alternate universe that is sim racing uh, I'm pretty confident going into this race um, it's 1.1k strength for field um, nobody I recognise in this split that I can see anyway oh Kenny, Kerry Kikorin I've bumped into him many a time in the last uh, season uh, good driver, not really because he's quick but clean we like to follow him, it'll be a clean race. Let's just get some foul there. I don't need a relative box open. I need to set up a fuel uh, one. It's a good track to us. Flowing, quick, All clear on technical the at times. Um, I enjoy it. It's a track I do know well. Um, Many iterations of sim games and real world. Not that I've ever raced real world, either, but you know, watching it on TV and all those gubbins. So if you need to stream, let me know where you're from. Just drop me a comment in the post. If you like it, if you found me for the first time, like the page, follow the page. It's all good stuff. around this corner. A lot of coasting can be done in these cars, carry a speed round. You use a big nice wide track like Silverson. So you can use a whole lot of track for accelerating out for a big runoff. This is a tricky corner in this car, I am You want to run it as close to the curb on the inside, get out of the power early. Old track into the fast complex and practice finishes so we don't get to see me attack that. Not really that happens. Uh, so qualifying is important, it's a two minute lap so you've got to get your qualifying done. Um, don't mess around, get it sorted, get a time on the board. I think I'll be looking at top top eight um, in this. It takes it's clear. All right, Kev. We've got two laps to get the job done. Before we first up, let's get some speed, some heat in the tyres. It's actually not a bad track for getting heat in the tyres and getting the responsiveness. Be 
smooth as well. I found out the smoother it is, the better. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's wow. I need to slow down to give back the time gained. Slow it down. Just to make the game happy. Keep it happy and you get more out of it. Normally, for track these days, I'd end up watching some Dave Cameron's track guides, but I've done a track so many times. Don't think that's necessary. Every Brit must know this track. Nice and smooth, give some pace. Decent. Come around to the famous section of Silverson. Decent complex wasn't as quick as I want to be through there. Now I can be quicker. Patience in this corner. It's very easy to run it wide. I just clip the grass there, I? Must ruin the ruin the lap. Ruin it massively. Third, fourth place. Bit decent run through that. Through that complex section there. I think Brooklyn, that corner was it, I think. And the cops. All those corners. Commit. Two commit there, it's probably just too much curb on the corner entrance there. There's the maggots, beckets, and whatever. Decent complex, good pace, good carry. After that, the 
leader has just done a 200.9 zero zero seconds. There's a faster. 200 zero zero flat. The guy behind has just done a 204.48. So that was my fastest, that was 201920, fifth place so far. I'll take that. Oh dear. So that was one of my main aims out of this uh, race is to be clean. Uh, with a good safety rating uh, on the other end of this. That's the main aim. Uh, but so far, three tenths faster than the guy behind me in six, Cole O'Connor. So, you know, again, a few people haven't put laps in, so you guys could be pretty quick as well. Um, so, my aim here is just to make sure I'm, I'm clean. Clean and efficient is the aim of the game. As we wait for the race to fall, uh, normally the wall laps are two corners, I think, in some of the part of the chicane section. So, we'll see how we go from there. But I'll take fifth place. No, solid. Evening, Kerry. So not too massively quick times going in the head, which is always nice. But Freddy League there, that's a good time. He's got good safe good he's a the end of the session, P five. So he's, uh, he's got some good safety he's gone his way up the rankings of a safety rating. Starting fifth of the grid. Oh, hello. The bottom box just fell off its uh, bracket. <laughs> yeah. I will be sort of mounting it onto my uh, my bracket <laughs> down here. To be honest, yeah, I can do that quite easily. So it's just, just getting it sorted. Need to tweak it a little bit. But I can do that. Loads of time to do that. Loads of bolts, loads of brackets left on my rig build. Good luck everybody. Good luck. You know, one of the lowest safety range in this race to be honest. Wet stein has disappeared. <laughs> do, 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 waiting for the grid to form up for the start of this pace lap or pace part pace lap. What's <coughs> me? It's not what you think it is. If anyone asks, <clears throat> I mean, I'm working for a moment, so I think I'm in the same air all day. It's so dry and stale. I was going to come on earlier tonight as well, do an earlier stream. Uh, we got a sidetrack with takeaway pizza. Um, and some Big Bang Theory on the old TV. It's been a while since I've done that. Yeah, getting, it's Tuesday night, it's meant to be the first week of my new <laughs> schedule and I'm already late. So the first night of the week. Um, oh well, it's my schedule. Good, good, good marker to lay down for myself. Minutes. You'll need to get on with this. The air temp is 26 Could Celsius. Could you so demand P5. The track temp is 27 Celsius. Follow car number 5 in the left column. Okay, Kev, get ready. Whoa, where's he going? And we got a spinner. Fucking idiot. Off. Floor it. Well, you made two places up there. One place up. These tires will be a little bit on the cold side. Deep. Oh yeah, I was waiting for him. 
Left side. Clear left. Well, as interesting, the first three corners on the pace lap. People all over the place. People, I've seen people trying to overtake through there. This is not an overtaking point. It's a good cornering point, but it's not an overtaking point. A decent start to the race. For myself, get that trouble. In front has increased. It's now about 0.9. Oh, curb, curb, curb. That's how you screw it up by taking too much curve. Only Kev. Okay, Kev. Sterling driving. That's ten minutes left. Clear left. On your left. Clear left. Let's get back on this. 13th place. Sector 3 is 12 seconds off the pace. Yellow flag. Far left. Clear left. Dude. The corner's always been one of my favourite overtaking slots in this track. Alright, let's do the battle back now. Sector 1 is 1.6, off the pace. So I'm going to get greedy with the amount of kerb, that suck. Because we just spin off, I knew it was going to happen. Just trying to keep pace to go in front of it was quicker, but, you know. Silly mistake. That's the mistakes that always seem to blight my racing. The gap behind has increased to 2.6. Oh, that wasn't an off track, I do not know. Someone else is off there. Uh, three B position. You know how to grab Christian. Have fun. The leader has just done a 201.56. Behind is pitting. Car left. Still there. Clear left. <sighs> Wasn't the way I wanted to do that. Deep. Bad. Okay. 
Just waiting for the heat to come into the tyres properly. Up a race on. Tongues out and concentrating hard. Man down. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. On your right, clear right, right side, clear right. Don't get another position there. There's a lot of cars up ahead. Sector 3 is 1.9 off the pace. Getting interesting. A lot of cars up ahead. We can. It's a turning point by a few yards. Someone's going to make a rush move in this group ahead and cause a big accident. You can just see it. White flag line on the final lap. One 
one more to go. Speed up. Okay, Kev. The next car is Powell. Fuck. Can't believe that. That's ridiculous. Man, I know I made two places away, but that was crazy. Seconds off the pace. Oh well, made up a couple of places, <laughs> benefited from it. I don't think that would have harmed the safety rating too much, to be honest, because it does it on consistency um, as well. I went most of the race there, uh, <laughs> clean. Apart from my first slap. You're in. Sector two is a second off the pace. Let's bring the car home. The water's probably thinking about way of this one as well. You're on me. Take seven place. Started fifth, six, one or two. Need seven. Uh, Thirty-one I rating points. So again, another good result for I rating. Benefited from a last lap spin. I'm not sure if they actually touched on that, to be honest. Let's have a look at it, though. Why not? Let's have a look at what the guys in front because it was quite interesting. <clears throat> and if we'll see or not. See two cars in front. Oh, you know, the guy in front lost it. I'm guessing. Nico. Right. Let's have a look. So he's put a comment there saying very good. Oh, he did, he just tapped him. And Eco, I was just watching the replay to that because obviously I got tangled up into it a bit at the end. Yeah, he just clipped your rear end. Yeah, not the safest to move from him, I have to say. Yeah, he just took him out and he just clipped his back end and that was that. Unfortunately. 2773 with my fastest lap. Pace was there for top five. I just messed it up on the first lap by getting greedy on the curbing and off it went. Cold tyres don't have the grip that you want it to have. And I'm happy with that. Happy with that. A few guys behind me were quicker, but at the end of the day, they've got to, they've got to race better consistently. Idiots. <laughs> yeah, there was some very interesting driving out there, Kerry. Very interesting driving. Oh my god, I'm just disgusted. I'm going back and watching this thing. People off track just shooting right back onto the track. 
the guy who pulled, who, who won the race, so it was second place in the pool, pulled the shot off the track during the pace lap and just shot right back on and then cut through a bunch of people. Oh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> My safety rating, and I'm, I'm, avoid, I'm not even trying to qualify, I'm trying to stay in the back and just getting hit. It's just crazy. Yeah, I was, I was at the front of the, at the pace lap and I saw that guy shoot off. Well, the one that, it was all going backwards, and all of a sudden, about a half a lap later, he's right back at the front again, thinking, "How oh, on earth did you manage to do that?" I went back and looked. That guy won the race. <laughs> it's just crazy. I'm like, I'm gonna go back and watch his entire race. But oh my gosh, I'm, this is, I'm gonna, I'm going to completely sit back to the next race and not, not engage anyone, not erase anybody. I'm just gonna stay in the back and hopefully I don't get hit. Yeah, it's always a good tactic sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it kind of takes the, and it kind of ruins the name of I racing. It's more like I'm hiding. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a camping thing, isn't it? Yeah, they're getting eye crashing. That's just crazy. I'll catch you in the next one, Kenny. Yeah. yeah, see you around, man. Good to race you again as well. You too, buddy. Yeah, let's catch up with Kerry there. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I've raced against him many a times in the last season of the BMW 12.0 Championship. Um, big team racer. Likes to keep his safety rating up. Um, you know, just fair play. It's what you want to try and do. Now, it's a question. Do we do the half 11 race or do I call it a night? Uh, it is... Oh, 11 o'clock just turned in the UK. Uh, do I want to do another race? I'm pretty tired. Let's have a look. Let's see what my safety rating get because I messed around with. That's going to dictate what I do, I think. So we're not by two getting there, Lewis. But the iRacing has gone up again and a good 30 point haul from that. Uh, I know I've got a bit more in there than me than that. Uh, so yeah, just trying to decide what I want to do. I would have. Hold on, my MPR. You can't see what I'm looking at on the screen because it's pretty boring. Let's at least put that on so you can see that. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. MPR. I need one more race. I would do that anyway in this season. Um, if I'm doing that in the IMSAS, IMSA Pilot Challenge, which is at Sonoma this week. Um, so I might look at practice on that later on. Do I want to do another race? If you're watching, let me know. Uh, but I'm going to end this stream now um, at this point now so if I do join on it will be for race 2 at half 11 if not it will be Friday night the next time I come on for I, well, sim racing um, the original plan is to do some different sim games um, I'm just trying to set up an Assetto Corsa uh, multi-class AI championship um, which is something I'm going to be trying to do um, it's very different for the channel um, so yeah, not sure how I'm going to do that yet, I'm still trying to iron that out. That might be like a once a month thing and do a nice featured video on it. Um, I might jump onto a set of course of competizione um, on Friday night and then see I racing back on Sunday night which will be the IMSA uh, feature race is what I'm going to call it. The feature of Sunday nights is going to be the IMSA pilot challenge um, which everyone knows and everyone loves. Why wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna sign out. Have a good night. So if I don't see it, if I'm not on again in half an hour, uh, if not, I'll see you all on a Friday night for some more sim racing goodness. Good night.